Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Manosphere? What's up, PUA community? It's your boy, the one and only, the most, the host that does it the most, Social Kenny. Coming to y'all from Paradise Lounge Studio, where I chop it up and chop them heads off. Those player hating ass dudes like Ferdinand. But yeah, I'm going to get into it. And, you know, I really didn't even want to address it's like third. You know, but when you want to go online or go on Twitter, go on people's Twitter feed and talk shit, you know, recklessly, totally like on some bipolar type of shit, that's totally like childish, catty, and ladylike. Honestly, I really didn't even want to make this podcast. I already wrote an article about it, about this, this bitch furred. You know, and I figured that was enough. But obviously my readers want to hear more. And the audience want to hear more. Okay, okay. So... With that said, I mean, I'm going to get right into it. No intermissions, none of the bullshit, no preliminaries. I'm going to get right into it. You know, with this bitch, Ferdinand, whatever his last name is, Bar, Bardamo or Barmadu, whatever the hell his name is. But we're going to call him, yeah, we're going to call him Turd. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's more like it. You know, and... So what happened was, last night, which was, if I'm correct, that was the 20, what, the 28th of, you know, whatever the fuck month we're in. Anyway, it was yesterday, Saturday night. You know, this fool, third, a.k.a. the turd, you know, obviously he's in a shitstorm, butthurt upset because I had, you know, written an article about his fucking lovers. You know, Rule should be in Chateau Ortiz or whatever the hell his name is. Whatever. And, you know, I did a podcast about him, you know, calling him out on their on bullshit. And, obviously, Ferd got hurt. I mean, it's totally fucking unbelievable. And, you know, a lot of us are chatting on, on Twitter about, you know, we... Whatever, we're, we're talking shit, you know, Professor Mental, Alpha Persona, Alpha Phase, Geographer. I, I know Geographer is a, is a hater on the down low. You know what I mean? I, I really believe so. He, he's hating me on the down low. You know, as a Geographer, a.k.a. Baron Concrete or whatever it is. You know, he's a hater on the low. He's, he, he's one of, um, one of Turd's minions. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly believe that. You know, and besides that, it's like, you know, we were talking, talking shit, guys talking shit or whatever. And this dude, Fur the Turd, comes in on the sidelines talking about some, he, he just came like on some bipolar off your meds type of shit. It, it was just like ridiculous. Totally uncalled for. Came out of the blue talking shit. I mean, it was so funny that the dude was so incoherent that none of us were able to, to discern who the fuck he was talking about. I mean, it was just like totally crazy. You know, and, and a message to Ferd is, take your fucking meds, bro. Take your meds. You know, so he came off on the sidelines talking shit, you know, disrespecting, violating, dissing, you know, just going off on a rant. And it took us like 10, 10 fucking tweets for us to, to, to figure out who the hell he, he was talking to. Because if I'm correct, Alpha Persona or it was, um, yeah, I think it was Alpha Persona that, that actually thought Ferd was addressing him with the disrespect and the bullshit and, and 
you know, all the the the, the BS about oh, we use property dropped as a dropped as a child and all that other dumb shit. You know, so Alpha Persona actually thought he was he was referring to him, but I was like, you know, in the, in the haze of, of of loss, I was like, hey, Ferd, who? I mean, who are you referring to? Dude was so incoherent. I mean, or he was drunk. He couldn't even really. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah, he probably had a a few too too many old Milwaukee's. So he was probably drunk and, and off his meds. So he started talking shit, talking about who who has a GED or who doesn't have a GED and who can't read, can't spell, can't write, bad diction, whatever they want to say, whatever he wanted to say. You know, typical attention whore type of attitude. You know, and. And all because of, I wrote a fucking article about, and I, and I did a podcast about Rush and Royce, you know, a.k.a. Douche and Royce. You know, that, that really should be their fucking name. No more this Rouge and Royce is, is Douche and Royce. You know what I mean? And, and the reason for that is their fucking attitude is so catty. I mean, it, it goes without fucking saying. I mean, okay, 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 okay. So, it, you know, it's simple as that. So, Fur got his feelings hurt because I disrespected, as he considered it, disrespected his, his bosses or his masters or his boyfriends. You know, so he, he felt he got all pissy about it. And, and this is the backstory. This is a backstory about Ferdinand. You know, and, and a lot of people might not notice unless you, you know, you check up on my Twitter feed and shit and you see, you know, you read between the lines or whatnot. Anyway, a few months ago, and this is in the article, matter of fact, my last article in the blog, you know, and so, you know, months ago, probably in February or January, February. You know, I was checking up on on in Malified or in Bonafide, whatever the fuck the, the weak ass blog is, is, is called. You know, and I felt that I could basically spruce this shit up. Cause this blog is fucking boring and it's dead. So I figured I, I can spruce it up. So I signed up on this blog for you know as a contributing poster you know, to, to spruce this shit up. And, you know, I signed up, send off the, the email, the fucking faggot, third, third, you know, he took like ages to get back at me. You know, so whatever, you know, he, he did get back. He said, oh, he, he's extra busy. He doesn't have any time to incorporate anyone else. And, you know, and, you know, classical BS, but whatever, I, I, I took it like a man. I said, all right, it's good, it's all good. I mean, whenever you have the time, you know, try to squeeze me and incorporate me. I, I can be a, a definite asset, you know, as far as, you know, gaining more followers, more traffic, more comments, everything, the whole fucking not. So that's whatever. You know, and, and I didn't take it in a, in a bad way. I mean, I wasn't hurt about it. I mean, what the fuck? I mean... It was. It is what it is. So I added. I followed him on Twitter after that, and you know we parlayed and, and everything. It was all good. So and the thing is, I'm supposed to be the one with the beef. I'm supposed to be the one that's saying, "Yo, what up?" I mean, I feel disrespected. I mean, I try to sign up for your bullshit ass blog to 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 bring traffic to it. In other words, you know, post some some meaningful content and you diss the shit out of me. But I didn't take it in a bitch type manner. I just took it like a man, like a true alpha. I just took it. You know, and and what I what I suspect happened is Ferd eventually checked out my blog, seen how active it was, seen seen how interactive it was, seen the quality fucking content I had on it and how to pick up chicks my political pieces, my pieces on religion, as being bullshit, the whole fucking nine yards. 
you know, so this dude eventually, most likely, he he started feeling my my stuff. You know, he 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 basically started feeling my stuff. Hey, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mean it that way. Fam. No, no, no. Not, I don't mean it that way. Anyway, so first started, you know, he was feeling my stick, you know, and he he kind of regretted afterwards that he never incorporated me or signed me up to the in modified, you know, bullshit blog that he has. He, you know, he eventually, he, he was hurt. And instead of going about it in a grown man way by saying, you know, shoot me an email or whatnot and say, hey, social Kenny, you know what I mean? My bad. I apologize for excluding you. I'm going to sign you up now. I'm digging your content, blah, 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 blah. A lot of dudes learn from your stuff. You're a pickup coach. You do your thing. You've been in the pickup community for a while. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include you. Instead of doing that, he chooses the bitch route, which was to talk shit on Twitter, talk shit in the manosphere, you know, and... And it's really fucking bitchy and catty. And I want to say this. He should be weeded the fuck out. You know, it, it, it's, it's straight up as that. He should be weeded out. They should be weeded out. And I know that dude, F, 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 Y, or Fly Fresh and Young, a.k.a. Fly Fresh and Dumb, I know he's one of the fucking Fur's minions, and, and he's one of his fucking underlings. So without a doubt, he, he would definitely defend this fucking turd, you know, and it's whatever. I don't have a problem with none of that. And the thing is, I never had a problem or an issue with any of these dudes, you know, be it Royce, a.k.a. Moist, Rouge, a.k.a. The Douche. I, I, I never had a problem with these dudes. It was them who fucking had a problem with my shit. All right, I'm not. I'm not. All right, I'm. I'm not even talking about Chateau Ortiz. But Rouge was the one that felt offended by me saying his farm. He says his farm isn't that active. So he felt butthurt about that. And Fur the third, Ferdinand, he got offended by me dissing his fucking lovers. And that is basically how how it went down. You know, and, and when it's all said and done, I should be the one that's offended by Ferdinand's, you know, blatant disrespect, disrespect of, of not allowing me to, to post on his, on his, his weak-ass farm, on his weak-ass blog. <clears throat> um, hold on. Let me take a sip of this. <clears throat> Grape juice. You know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, talking about these fucking fists make me thirsty. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, this is the Social Kenny PUA show. And I'm just going off on a on a on a mini rant about this bitch Ferdinand. Bardamo or whatever his name is. I call him Fur the Third. You know, so anyway, dude was basically attention seeking like a whore. You know, he was seeking attention. I had my 15 minutes, 15 seconds of fame on Twitter that night, last night, Saturday. You know, I mean, a lot of dudes was basically, you know, they were very interactive with my tweets. And that's good. You know, Bronan the Barbarian, you know, Professor Men too, even though he talks shit, but I don't, you know, it's whatever. I don't take it serious. You know, Dunlack and, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole not, GMAC. And it was all good. You know, no hard feelings. But Fur the Third came off on some, like, you know, totally bipolar type of shit. Come on, bro. Don't point at other people for your shit. I mean, if that's your inability to comprehend or to read, don't project that on other dudes. You know? 
don't take your shit out on me because you, you fucking dropped out of school. I mean, don't take it out on me. <laughs> you know? And, and, and simply that, you know, and, and that's how bitches do. You know, that, that is strictly how bitches do. You project your inabilities, your deficiency on other people to sort of compensate for that vanity or that insecurity. So that's basically what it is. Pretty much catty bullshit. You know, and I really didn't even want to address this fool, you know, further. I really didn't want to do it. I didn't want to, you know, put him in the spotlight, give him more of what he wants, which is attention. He's like a fucking little baby seeking attention. And, and then, okay, 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 okay. You know, and and I really didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to give him that, that 15 minutes of fame. Because his, his blog is full of shit. That in bona fide crap or whatever it's called, every time I received an email notification of a new post and that shit, I don't even read it. That in bona fide, malified bullshit. I, I don't even read it, to be honest. I see the titles, and I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm out. And if there's one thing I could say about Racy, Shadow Ortiz, his stuff, I actually read his stuff. I read his shit. I've never denied that. I read his shit. I read Royce's stuff. You know, Rule Shaker ate a douche. I, I read his shit too. And I comment on his shit prior. You know, but third, I, I don't fuck with his shit at all. Yeah, to be honest, like I said, I read maybe three, four of his posts, you know, back in January or somewhere. And I did comment on it. But I, that was about it. Blog is weak, shit is whack, you know, incoherent, bipolar, just off the fucking wall, off his meds. I can't deal with that. You know, so I, I basically, I, I'm not feeling this shit. And, 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 and I've seen that I was a good niche, you know, to basically bring some activity to it. I'm not going to bash other dudes that, that, that post on his stuff. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to bash them, even though they tried to go in on me on, on Twitter last night. You know, or, or on one of um, Professor Mentor's posts last night about me. You know, um, Danny from 504, he actually came on some sideways shit, try to, you know, try to play me on, on a DL. You know, hey, but it's whatever. I mean, you know, I've learned a lot on my journey through the pickup community. And now that I've elevated myself to, to a coaching where I can actually instruct dudes on how to pick up chicks, and as we're taught in the community, you know, from, you know, this is like basic kindergarten stuff in the community. You know, what, we bas- what we're basically taught is don't be so reactive. Don't get your fucking feelings hurt. When a female rejects you, take it like a man. Be alpha about it. Relax. Lay back. Be-